So, what do you need? You've been calling me for the past half hour. It must be important. Oh, don't look so confused. Horrified? No, wait. You're, you're definitely panicking. It's okay. Relax. I know. The horns and glowing red eyes are freaky for the first time you see them. But I'm mostly human looking. You'll get used to it. I promise. Calm down now. All right. Good. Let's get a few things straight. I'm your guardian demon. We're kind of like guardian angels, but we do more personal business. You see those pentagrams you doodled in the margins of your homework? Yeah. Every time you draw one of those, it's like an alarm clock blasting in my head telling me that you need help over and over and over and over again. Most humans don't even know that we exist, but since you called what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven times! I figured that you must have some sort of hellish knowledge. Maybe you read a Necronomicon while I wasn't looking or something? <sighs> don't, don't apologize. I, I understand it wasn't intentional. Anyways, this is where things get awkward. Since you evidently didn't mean to summon me, I'm stuck here for now. I can't go back until I fulfill some desire of yours. So, what'll it be? Try and do anything immoral to me, and I'll turn your existence into a nightmare as soon as you go to hell for it. You... You want me to what? <laughs> I guess sharing a meal is a win-win situation. Free food, and then I can go home. And is that spaghetti? Hmm. At least you know how to make a demon girl happy. So, how's life been here? I mean, I check up on you every so often, but I don't ever watch long. Just long enough to see if you're alive and stuff. Anymore, and I feel like a peeping Tom. That's nice to hear. To be honest, it's nice that you didn't actually need something done. I wasn't in the mood to do any real work tonight. However, this food's pretty damn good. You definitely cook more often than I've seen. Ah. You're such a good cook because your parents aren't home often? When they're off on business trips, you have to make your own meals. Hey, 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 don't, don't look so sad. Uh, there's a silver lining to that. Think about it. You won't have to learn how to cook once you move away. When you have to learn how to do all the adult-related stuff all at once? Who knows? Some girl out there would be very glad to know you can cook this well. You're evidently not convinced. Tell you what, I'll come by and keep you company whenever your parents aren't around. One condition, though. You better cook me some of this amazing food whenever I stop by. Of course I mean it. Demons always keep their promises. But we can make a contract if you really don't trust me. No? Well, just call me whenever they leave. I'd be glad to keep you company. Hell's pretty uneventful recently anyways. Hey, you only called once this time. Don't make that face, I'm just busting your chops. How have you been? Lonely? Don't worry. I'm here to put a dent in that. What do you want to do? Netflix? Sounds good to me. This is a pretty good movie. Hey, um, you don't mind if I, like, rest my head on your lap, do you? No? Okay. You're nice and warm. I mean, hell is warmer than the mortal realm, but your warmth is different like the difference between being hot and being cozy. It feels like wrapping yourself in a blanket next to a fire on a cold winter morning. Tell you what, can you massage behind my horns? Yeah, I know it's weird. Just do it, okay? <laughs> oh, that feels amazing. 
Like all the tension in my body is just being sucked out from where your fingers are. Hey, where are you going? Oh, starting dinner. Guess I can't complain. I am a little hungry. Want me to pause the movie? Oh, you can see it from the kitchen? Okay. Oh, this looks great. Mm, and it tastes as good as it looks. Oh, shit. Uh, my dad's calling. Uh, stay quiet, okay? He'll probably kill you if he found out I was here. Hello. Yeah, Dad. I'm busy. I'm at a friend's house. Yeah, look, I'll be home later. Yeah, I'll call you back as soon as I leave. The mortal realm? <laughs> no, I'm just a little walk from home. Alright, I'll be home before nightfall. Goodbye. <sighs> that was a little too close. Yeah, my dad's a little overprotective, but I guess being the king of hell is pretty stressful. Yeah, my dad's the king of hell. Satan, Lucifer, Beelzebub, El Diablo, whatever you want to call him. Hell's not really accurately depicted in most media. Most people envision hellfire and brimstone and screams of the damned, when in actuality it's more of a big city than anything. Why didn't I tell you? Because I thought you'd treat me differently. You see, I don't have many friends back home. They all treat me like some big shot princess. But I'm still just a normal person. Or demon, I suppose. You're one of the first people who doesn't treat me like some bigger than them. Because I'm really not. <laughs> it's nice. I appreciate it. <sighs> Speaking of nice, can I curl up in your lap again? Thanks. Wake up! Best friend! Hey there! Shh, quiet! I know, it's been a while since I last saw you, but your parents have been home for the past month and I just had to stop by. Yeah, I know this is risky, but it's a calculated risk. They're just a few rooms over, but it's okay. They're asleep. I checked. Yeah, I'm just here to catch up. I haven't seen you in so long. How have you been? Aw, you miss me too? Yeah, when you stopped calling me as often as before, I thought you got bored of me, but whenever I checked in, your parents were somewhere nearby. No, don't, don't apologize. It's, it's not your fault. I don't have a monopoly on your time. You need to see people other than me, you know? I don't know. We can't watch movies on the couch like we normally do. Wanna just... chat? What exciting things have been going on while I've been gone? Mm -hmm. hmm. That sounds nice. No, nothing exciting on my part. Same old boring stuff back home. Hey, do you mind if I cuddle up next to you in bed? Good, because I was going to anyway. Hey, would your girlfriend mind me being this physical with you? Wait, what do you mean you don't have one? I figured you did, I'd just never seen her boyfriend? Not that either, huh? Hmm. Now that just doesn't make sense. You've never dated anybody? Not even once? Wow. I was not expecting that. You're amazing. And you deserve a lot better. Hey. I think I understand that look in your eye, and if my memories serve correctly, I still need to fulfill a wish of yours before I can go home. I know what you want to do, so shut me up before I do it myself. Mm -hmm. 
I knew it. You are an amazing kisser. <laughs> You're funny. Do you mind if I get under the covers with you? I want to cuddle a little closer. I hope you don't mind my horns so close to your face. However, for right now, I think I'm falling asleep. Mind if I stay here? <laughs> Can I have one more kiss before we go to bed? <laughs> Good night.